Are you excited about the price of silver coming down and the premiums as well? Are you happy that you can add more silver to your stack for your money? Or are you on the other side of the fence where you wish it would go back up and you believe that silver is not doing what it's supposed to do right now? I want to know the answer to that, so do me a favor and go down below and leave a comment. Don't worry, you can keep the video playing. All I'm going to be doing in today's video is playing with silver. I'm not going to be showing any charts or anything, but I do want to know which side of the fence you are on. Do you want silver to go back up or do you want it to stay down so you can stack more? Let me know. Now, the reason I'm asking you that question today is because I have had so many comments from people on both sides of the fence. A few people saying they're really disappointed in silver and they wish they would have waited to start stacking or didn't start stacking at all. And I totally understand. You know, listen, I know people have opinions that are different from mine and that is great. That's what makes you know, being a human being awesome is that we can have difference of opinion and still get along and talk about things. But yeah, many people have said that they are actually not happy about the price of silver coming down and they wish it would go back up. But for me, and I think for many of you, I know it's not going to be all of you. I'm actually happy that I get the stack more. In fact, you guys know I've been showing these two silver bars off on the channel for quite a while. I had the opportunity to pick up a third Johnson Matthew Kilo and I added it to my stack and I was so excited to do so because of these lower prices. So what I want to do today in this video while you're leaving that comment down below is talk to you about why I'm excited that it is coming down and additionally I want to tell you what I'm going to be doing while the prices are low. So if you guys want to learn about that stick with me but before we do do me a favor and don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to help us continue to grow and honestly talking about premiums going down take a look at this awesome deal for my sponsor SD Bullion. They have premium silver coins. We're talking kangaroos, coogs, maples, their choice at just $1.99 over spot this week. I will put a link in the description below. Make sure you go check that out. But as far as stacking is concerned, it's always, in my opinion, best to get the most silver you can for your money. Now, of course, there are caveats to that. Silver Eagles do command a premium when you sell them, and they are more recognizable. I actually did a video when I talked about how I believe that back during May when the premiums on Silver Eagles were way too high, I had people argue with me that it didn't matter because Silver Eagles will always get that premium back. Of course, I showed that that's not always the case. Yes, you do get more when you're selling Silver Eagles than you are for when you say selling Silver Rounds or even 90% Silver, but it's not so much that it's going to make up for paying $18 to $21 an ounce over spot for Silver Eagles like we were back in May. Silver Rounds, although they also are paying less for Silver Rounds than they were just you know a few months ago, the amount that you lost in premium is much, much lower. In fact, I showed a scenario where back in May, if you would have spent just $10,000, and I know that's a lot, I'm not trying to say just as in 10,000 is nothing, it's a lot of money, but my point is that if you spent $10,000 in silver, seriously, $10,000 in silver rounds versus silver eagles, you would have gotten more silver than these three kilos right here. In fact, it would have been a difference of 100 ounces of silver between buying silver rounds and silver eagles back in May if you spent $10,000. That is a lot of silver. This is 96 uh, 0.45, 97, 98, 99. You would have gotten just a little bit more than this right here in silver just for taking one ounce silver rounds instead of silver eagles. So my argument again, isn't against Silver Eagles. I really love Silver Eagles, especially Type 1s. I love the Type 1 Reverse. Silver Eagles are absolutely beautiful coins. And yes, again, I admit that they get a little bit higher of a premium. When we did the coin shop calls last week, I got offered between 2 and 250 an ounce over spot for Silver Eagles, whereas the most I got offered for Silver Rounds was spot. But again, when you're paying $18 an ounce over spot for Silver Eagles, that $2, $2.50 an ounce is almost nothing. And then if you add that into the fact that we have seen silver prices drop, it's even less. So I've had people that have commented saying that they're disappointed that the silver price is coming down, like I said at the beginning of the video. But what I look at it as, and this is what I'm doing, this is what we're getting into today, I look this at it as an opportunity, like I said, to lower my cost average down, to stack more silver for less money. 
I mean, unless you're a millionaire or a billionaire that has more money than you know what to do with, we all have a finite amount of money that we can put in the silver. And so what I'm doing right now and what I'm excited to be doing right now is continuing to add more to my stack at lower prices and lower premiums before it goes back up. Now, keep in mind, I say before it goes back up, like I know what it's going to do. It could very well go down even more. The premiums could even go down more where you can't find a shop even paying spot for these. In fact, they might be paying back a spot. And silver right now is trading for 21 and change. It could go down to 18 or 17. So I don't actually know what it's going to do, but what I do know is right now, in the last few years, this is the cheapest you could buy in the last few years since I believe February of 2021 when the silver squeeze hit. This is the cheapest you are able to buy rounds, bars, eagles, 90% and more for. So if you have a lot of higher price silver, and I kind of spoke about this last week, if you have a lot of higher price silver right now that you're sitting on and you have a high dollar cost average in that silver now is the time to lower that average down of course if you are still stacking many people will stop stacking because the numbers are too far down and they don't they're afraid it's going to go down and they're going to lose more money and i'm not arguing that that can't happen and i'm certainly not telling you that you should stack silver you know i personally obviously believe in stacking silver but you do you I'm not telling you what you should do, but if you are stacking silver, if you are going to continue to stack silver, take this, at least what I'm going to do is be taking this opportunity to lower the cost average of my current silver, especially the stuff I've been buying over the last couple of years down and get it into a little bit more normal of a level. And then hopefully we don't see the premiums go back up because it absolutely can, can't it? I mean, we've already talked about many times on this channel how you could see the premiums for silver bars, uh, for silver rounds, for silver eagles go back up if the demand skyrockets. Right now the demand is down, but that could change and it could do so very quickly. In fact, with everything going on right now, you know, we don't know. We saw this back in March when the banking scare happened. We saw a huge demand for silver, a rush of people buying silver and gold to get their money out of cash. And we saw the premiums go up. We saw the spot price go up, but the premiums really, I mean, they skyrocketed back in March. And now we have this new war going on and so many other world events that are happening right now. If you add to that the rising cost of everything in the US, you could absolutely see a scenario where it happens once again. You just never know. So I'm gonna end with this. If you are silver stacking, if you are still adding silver to your stack, I'm not telling you that you should. Maybe you don't believe in silver. Maybe you believe in cash, and that's fine. We all have a difference of opinion. I said that earlier. But if you do believe in silver and you are going to continue stacking, in my opinion, and I am not a financial advisor, I could be way wrong, now is a really good opportunity to add to your stack, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be finding lower premium pieces that I add to my perma stack. In other words, the stuff I don't intend on selling and that I hope I still have when I pass away so I can pass on to my kids and I hope that I never need it, but it's going to be there if I do need it. That's my perma stack and I'm going to continue adding silver to that stack while I have the opportunity to do so at these much lower premiums and much lower prices. So I already asked you in the beginning if you'd like to see silver go down or go up, leave that in a comment. Leave me another comment and let me know what you're gonna be doing over the next, you know, who knows, maybe the next week, maybe the next two months. Uh, maybe till tomorrow, you know, who knows when it's going to go back up, but let me know what you're going to be doing with everything that's been happening. And are you going to keep stacking silver? I would love to know. So guys, thank you again for watching. Uh, today's video was more of a podcast style, but I appreciate you tuning in. And the beauty of videos like that is you can just put it on and listen in the background because you don't actually need to see all of this. This is just eye candy while you guys listen to what I have to say. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.